This is a stair exercise that we're going to do, and it's just to get the dog to start following the handler. You go up and down the stairs because usually the dogs are only going to want to go two directions, either up or down. And it's also easy to stop the dog, so we took a step in there to stop the dog into the sit. So he's doing the step behind there. He's putting his hand on his head to bring his head up, saying, hey, pay attention to me. We kind of lost the dog there. So instead of turning to the... Well, never mind. Now he's bending down to bring the dog forward. So the stairs eliminates the dog from going to the left or to the right. Mainly the dog's always going to want to go up the stairs or down the stairs. So that's why the stairs are a good training environment. So it just helps eliminate some of the different choices through trial and error that a dog can make. It's usually either up or down the stairs. There you go. And he's using his hand. I don't know if you saw that. He used his left hand to help guide the dog. So he put it within the dog's eye frame or eyesight. And he's using it as a guide. He's just trying to turn the dog around there. He took a step in there to get him to sit. So he was using his hand. And it's just to kind of help the dog out so the dog knows and understands a clear picture of what you are expecting of him. And that was a nice turn because the dog turned with the handler instead of away from the handler. So those are little subtleties that will get cleaned up more and more as we train this dog. There you go. So he asked him to say come, or he did ask him to come and he didn't get it, so he bent down to kind of help the dog out. There, and he's using his hand to bring his head up. The dog clearly likes it. <laughs> he likes the attention. Good boy, Diesel. Thanks. Thanks, Cheryl. Good job. Good job, Diesel. <laughs>